guys, what is up? So today I'm just going to do a super quick video. Um, I do this every semester um, at the beginning and at the end where I tell you about my classes for the semester and then I tell you how it goes at the end. This is my third semester after switching to pre-med. So pretty much I already have all of my free electives, all of the generic classes done with and I've had them done for like a year. So I'm just doing a bunch of uh, high, of the higher upper level um, biology courses and things like that. So this semester I have four classes and two labs. It's going to be a lot easier than last semester because last semester I had way too many credit hours and this semester I believe I have I have 18 credit hours which is not that much for me. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. So first off, I'm taking a bio roundtable class. So pretty much this class is something that my school offers and it's all about keeping up to date with new bio articles, bio news, things like that. So it's pretty much a discussion class and every week we'll be talking about the new biology or new things in biology, uh, new findings, new research, things like that. So I think that course has the potential to be super interesting because I honestly like reading articles and stuff like that. So my second class that I'm taking is genetics. Uh, this semester I took a class called uh, cellular and molecular biology and in this class I isolated a cephage and if you don't know what that is you can google it but it's pretty much a virus that infects a bacteria and lots of colleges and universities are isolating bacteria specifically from soil and um, or the viruses from soil and I ended up finding one and isolating it and, and I sent it off to get its DNA and all that sort of stuff but this semester I get I'm pretty sure I get to code its DNA or something like that I've already just extracted the DNA from the phage and sent it off but this semester I think I'm just building on that so that's pretty cool I got to even name my species of um, see if the I even got to name my species of bacteriophage that I found which was super cool um, there was only two set off this semester from my school and mine was one of them so uh, that's going to be super interesting and fun I'm excited for that class and then I have the second chemistry in the chemistry lab I just realized that genetics class actually has a lab so I actually have three labs but anyways, so I'm taking the second chemistry and I've said this a million times, I've already taken chemistry, multiple years of chemistry, but it doesn't transfer to my school, so I'm taking it again, so I'm not really too worried about that. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Hopefully, knock on wood. And then I have my second physics class in lab. Like I said, physics is not something that I inherently enjoy doing, but just because the wording and stuff is super weird sometimes, especially the way that physics is presented by the particular professor that I take. Um, and unfortunately, there's only one professor that teaches university physics at my school. So yeah, fingers crossed on that one. Luckily, we get to have a formula sheet, but the formula sheet in that class only gets you so far. So then lastly, I am taking a medical terminology class. This is technically considered a nursing class. It's considered an optional nursing class at my school, but I'm choosing to take it not only as an additional, like, uh, as an additional GPA booster, but also because I think it's important to know your basic medical terminology. I think I have a good foundation on this from nursing school, but you know, I just want to keep up to date with it and be able to use that jargon whenever I go to be interviewed or whatever I want to do in the medical field. So yeah, those are my classes. Um, there's a bunch of interesting ones for the semester, so I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping it's not going to be too harsh of a semester. Uh, my medical terminology class is online, so that's super awesome. I'll be able to do that whenever I have time to do it and on the weekends or whatever. Um, and then I only have my chemistry, or I have my chemistry lecture Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 to 8.50, and that's all I have on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's going to be super awesome if I want to have a long weekend and I don't have anything super important to do in chemistry, you know, I can do that. But then my Tuesdays, my Tuesdays I'm going to have genetics, physics, and physics lab, and then on Thursday I'm going to have a bio round table genetics again, physics, and a chem lab. So Thursdays are going to be rough and I didn't really realize that until just now. 
So, but that's okay. So I have four classes on Thursdays, but that's okay. That's sort of how my Thursdays were this semester. My Thursdays were sort of awful, but <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's a super quick video just to tell you guys, update you guys on my classes that I'm taking this semester. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and good luck if you're in school. Uh, good luck on this semester, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!